Good morning. This is episode 277 of Quest for You. Wherever you are out in this world, I'm sending you greetings and wishing you an amazing day. I want to start out, as I love to do, with a quote. When we least expect it, life sets us a challenge to test our courage and willingness to change. At such a moment, there's no point in pretending that nothing has happened or in saying that we are not yet ready. The challenge will not wait. Life does not look back. A week is more than enough time for us to decide whether or not to accept our destiny. Paolo Coelho I want to encourage you today to say yes. Not to anything, of course. Not to those things that don't add meaning to your life and only rob you of your time, your energy and maybe even your good health. Another Football Sunday TV marathon where you really don't do much. Or an entire evening out for drinks that make you feel bad the next day. Or just going over to a friend's house again where you sit around watching TV and talking about nothing of significance. Don't say yes to the same old, the stuff you've already done a hundred times. And every time, they are the same. Same level of boring, uninspiring, draining or mind-numbing. Far from what you'd rather be doing. And always leaving you wondering afterwards, why did I do this yet again? Saying no is hard. We are comfortable with the old and we are afraid to hurt others, especially when we don't have a good excuse. So here and today, I have your excuse for you. Say yes to something new, to change, to an opportunity that came up, a new challenge, a new perspective or a different approach. When you say yes to something new, eventually you don't have time for the old anymore. It may take a few tries. You may say yes to something that you didn't like. I've done it many times. Dates are a good example, but also other activities. I went to a meditation group once. It wasn't for me. But the time comes when you say yes to something and it turns into your next passion. It will fill not only your heart, but also your time. It will crowd out all that empty space in your calendar that you previously filled with the same old. It will make you busy and your good friends will understand it. Heck, they may even be jealous and join you. We are so generous with our time. We say yes yet again, even though last time we vowed we wouldn't go there again. But yet, we are so afraid to say yes to the new and unknown so that we decline the unexpected invitations. I speak from the heart when I say this, because I think of mountain climbing, my new adventure which I shared with you in episode 242. My friend invited me. A small mountain. It was late, I was tired, and most of all, I thought it was useless. But I said yes. It was something different. It was a change to my otherwise very monotonous weekday evenings. I was scared. I thought I would make a fool of myself, but I said yes, and it changed my life. And who knows if he would have ever invited me again had I said no. An inexperienced climber depends a great deal on the help of his partner. So I'm not sure he would have really tried to convince me to do this. Only more work for him, the more hesitant I am. Sometimes opportunities only come once. We need to grab them by the horns and run with them. We need to be decisive, even if we don't have all the details. Richard Branson said, If someone offers you an amazing opportunity to do something, and you're not sure you can do it, say yes. Then learn how to do it later. This is where I am at. I'm learning to climb. I take every opportunity I get. 
and gone are the lonely weekends where I sat depressed on my balcony, waiting for text messages that would never come. Suddenly, I have to say no, left and right. And guess what? It feels great to choose the one thing that makes you happy. Sometimes I choose dinner with friends over climbing. An occasional happy hour with people I haven't seen in a while. But saying yes to something new limits the time that you feel desperate to say yes to the old. Make friends with the unknown. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. It can be practiced. For years, I've taken salsa at my gym. And every time the instructor doesn't show up, I get frustrated. The substitute is never as good as him. And I usually skip the class. Last night, as I stood there, complaining with others that also liked the class, that he didn't show up yet again, a hip-hop class was taking place. I wasted ten minutes complaining, and as I was just about to walk away, I turned around, and I said, heck, why not something new? And I had the best 50 minutes in a long time, learning moves I have always admired. Yes to change has surprised me more than it disappointed me. I was always a no person. No was my default. Sorry, no, I can't. I don't know how, and no, I'm not sure. Forget that. Every time you say yes, you open a door for something amazing to enter your life. A new person, an opportunity, maybe even your next job. When was the last time you really had an adventure? When it wasn't planned and you kind of fell into it because you didn't have a choice? We need more adventures. They make life interesting. So I greatly encourage you. Say yes to the next thing coming your way. If it sounds exciting to you, if it seems like it will challenge you, if it involves making an effort or taking a risk, maybe new people or a place you haven't seen, an activity you've never tried, tell yourself, you never know. And I always say this every time I embark on something unknown. Literally, as I sit in my car driving to that new place, meeting new people, and when suddenly doubt wants to come over me and tell me to turn around, I say, you never know, because you don't. But i rather find out than regret later. And let me tell you, the times I've said no have always come back to haunt me, when I found out how great an event was that I declined. I bet you have similar experiences. So be open-minded. Go with a smile. Always have a backup plan in case it's not what you hoped for. For me, that is that I will always drive by myself to meetups, even though people often request to share a ride, especially here in the Bay Area. If I don't know them, I'd rather not spend several hours in the car together, just in case I want to leave earlier. But otherwise, let yourself be surprised. Go with the flow. Just say yes, because saying yes to change is also saying yes to this present moment. It's saying yes to life right now, fresh and new and filled with opportunities just for you. Don't let them slip by because your mind is somewhere in the past, wishing for things to be different, or in the future, planning ahead for something that will never happen anyway. Say yes to now, because the best part is what happens after you do. And to end with a quote, from one of my favorites, Eckhart Tolle. He also encourages us to say yes. Always say yes to the present moment. What could be more futile, more insane, than to create inner resistance to what already is? What could be more insane than to oppose life itself, which is now and always now? Surrender to what is. Say yes to life and see how life suddenly starts working for you rather than against you. With so much love, my friends. I'll talk to you soon.